Yo, what is up everyone? Revolt, aka Scammer Revolt here, bringing you guys a brand new stream highlight. Today we got a stream highlight over an hour and a half here of trolling this girl scammer who tries telling me I have all this crap going on with my computer and stuff and just wasting her time getting her location at one point and, uh, you know putting her scam tactics back onto her and seeing how she likes that. But before this video starts, if you guys like the video, consider giving it a like. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for calling. Please press two, six to speak with live executive. Thank you for calling support. This is Michelle on Recorded Blonde. How can I help you today? Hello? I need to speak to someone about a message yes, that came up on my computer. Okay. What is the message you're getting, sir? I got a thing coming up saying Windows Defendees and saying that there's like a virus on a computer. Could you please go ahead and read that entire message to me? I just need well, to says know what says here, it's quick scan, 60% complete, object scan, 6,228, Windows Defendee. At the bottom it says, Windows Defendee, contact Microsoft Security Helpline. And then it also, there's a thing up here that's saying that computer blocked. Well, I do regret to hear that, sir, and I'll be more than happy to help you out. But I, I mean, I pay, I paid this computer exactly off, so I ain't missed no payments. How old this computer is, sir? I, I just I just got it not too long ago, but I I I pay I I paid off the whole thing, so I don't know is it getting like repoed or something or like what's going on? Because I made all my payments. Okay. Uh, what exactly you were trying to do in the computer when you got the warning message there? I was just trying to go looking at news and such, seeing what's going on. That's it. Not, nothing complicated. Okay. Well, sir, I just need to let you know see what happens sometimes when you go online. And if you click on some website which is unprotected, that kind of website could invite the virus and computer. So it could be possible when you were online, you might have accidentally God. maybe clicked on something which has given you this kind of wire attack. And what is that? Don't worry, as you're talking to online Microsoft. Is that a virus? Well, even I have no clue what would... Yes. What does that do? It could be virus attack onto the... What does that do? It could... Uh, I, let me ask you here. Have you got any kind of protection onto your network, like internet securities or network securities? Uh, I, I don't know. I just got the computer. Okay, so you're not aware about the securities and all, that if you've no, got I any kind of protection onto your network? I don't know. Network? I just know I'd ask the, ask the guy at the store what's the best one, the best one he could get, and this is the one he gave me. Who else uses this computer apart from you? Are you the only person who uses this device? Yeah, yeah, just me. It's, it's, it's your personal computer, right? Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I bought it for. See, sir, what I can do the best for you here, because the kind of warning message it's giving you, it's uh, just giving you the warning alert that it could be possible that when you were online, as I said, that you might have accidentally clicked on something which has given this kind of virus attack. So what I can do the best for you here, first I need to make sure that your device is safe and secured. So I'll just try to connect your device to the Microsoft secured server. Once it is secured, then only I'll ask you to go ahead and run your cans, which will give you the information that what exactly is going on and how I can go ahead and fix the problem for you. Do I got to, like, okay, go and so buy something for that? Is, no, you don't have to. I was just about to say that, that you need not to pay a penny for even oh, for God. the services. 
And even though if I find out that if you've got any kind of problems or you don't have any kind of securities, and if you need some securities, I'm going to go ahead and get you one. Okay? Oh, and God. you don't have to pay a penny. All right? Oh, okay. So let me just go ahead and uh, guide you some troubleshooting steps. You just have to listen to me very carefully and follow these steps. Okay? So okay. you said that it's a new computer, correct? It's not the old computer. Yeah, I got it. I just got it by when I get it like three, four weeks ago. I, I just told a guy what's the best one I get for my house. And this is the one he told me. Okay. Over over okay, up at so Best Buy. So almost just one month one month old computer. Okay, from the Best yeah, Buy. Yeah, it's like brand new. Okay, and this is the first time you got into this kind of problem. Yeah, it, yeah, because they they all set it okay. up for me and everything too, and they should they said it should be good. Oh, well, don't worry, I'll take care of it. And may I get your name so that I can address you in a better way? Yeah, Frank. Okay. So it's just one month old computer. Yeah, it's like brand new. Yes, it's kind of brand new. Right. And from which state? What's your zip code? Zero two eight one six. I just moved here about two, two months ago. That's eight, why I got the six. new computer. Oh, okay. You've recently moved to a new place. So yeah, you, I'm in Rhode Island now. Okay? I used to be in. Do you think? I don't. I I, I used okay. to be in. Uh, uh, I moved to Rhode Island about that was about two months ago. I used to be in Wisconsin. Okay. Okay, Frank. The computer Bruh, let's let's again which computer with the five is community it sub gifts. HP? Holy oh, crap, no, thank you. Which one is it? It's a, he said it's a HP. Well, that's, that's what it says on the front, too. Actually, I got the, I still got, Okay. I think I still got the paper with it, too. I think that says the name on it. All right. Let me I was see, just let me see if I got the, the thing. Well, just look into yeah, the Yeah, it keyboard. says right here, HP NV Desktop TE01400. It's a desktop, right? That's what's that? Yeah, I'm looking at a paper here that came with it. Yeah. Okay, and how, for what purposes do you use this computer? Like, what all activities do you do on this computer? Uh, like, what do you mean? By like activity. Like, you check your emails, go to the social website, so uh, browse, I mean, most of, play well, games, do online Most of the time games. when I get on it, at least for now, I haven't even had it that long to do a bunch of stuff on it. Um, but I I still ain't got no exactly cable TV, do? so I I like I like going on here and checking the news because I ain't got no cable TV yet. Okay, you. Okay, so you just check news onto this computer. Or you don't to go into uh to your a lot of website, time I check the you news. Check your email. I think I've been on Facebook a couple okay. times, but I'm you also do. time yeah, I'm checking the news. You do go to your social website, and do you do online banking, shopping, and make online payments? I haven't done none of that yet. Do you no. do all that stuff? You I haven't. just got it. I just got it. Do you it, do you it know? on your phone? Oh yes, you told me that you just got it. You just one month old computer, right? Yeah, that's what you told me. Yeah, I haven't Brand even I haven't even gotten uh I haven't even gotten all my pictures up on here yet. Okay, okay. Because they said because the I got yeah. That's left. what I'm trying to figure out. You know, they said I got to scan them onto the like I got to go to like the the store and get them like digitally transferred or something. Mhm. Mm
So I just want you to go look into your keyboard. At the left the most annoying thing about this is she sounds like she would be actually helpful if she worked for a proper company. Four or like four so that's like really annoying. Say what? Look into the keyboard. No, okay. Left yeah. bottom corner. Could you please tell me which key do you see at the left bottom on your keyboard? By the very bottom? Is it left side? Right. Mm-hmm. Um, control, control, control. Okay, besides the control key, which key do you see? Um, uh, start button. So it has like four boxes into it, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I want you to hold this key down. It's the Windows key, okay? Oh, it's God. like four flags, like four boxes onto it. I want you to hold it down. While holding it down, just hit the letter R. R is in Romeo. R? I just noticed Kick still has my total stream time. Two hours and 53 minutes. When you press both the keys together at the same time, it'll give you a run box at the left bottom on your screen. A box. Do you see the run box at the left bottom on your screen? Oh, I do see you a see little... Type the name of a program. Yeah, I see like a little thing that came up. Okay, wonderful. You're doing good. Now, you may go ahead and release both the keys. Why did she change her tone when she said, Okay, wonderful. You You're doing good. Box which has come <laughs> up. Does it say type the name of a program, folder, document, or internet resource and Windows will open for you? Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay. So, do you see anything is written in the open box or is it empty? Uh, no, nah, it's, it's empty. It's empty. Yeah. Okay, just check at the left bottom on your screen. Do you see the four boxes and there's a magnifier and says type here to search? Four boxes? Yes, at the extreme left bottom on your screen. Oh, why should... Okay. Underneath that box, do you see? Type here to search. I see it. It just says search. Like in the middle? In the middle? No. Where do you see the she's, four boxes? And it she's says, running Windows it gives 10. You a magnifier and says type. Yeah, I see search. like a little magnifying glass. Oh, you do see that? Okay, here. Lady, not everyone's on Windows quick. 10. It is oh, yeah. <laughs> quick assist. Quick? Yes, quick. Okay. Give a single space and then okay. type assist. Assist. Yes. When you try to type in quick assist, on the top, she just you would be able to see Quick Assist app. Does it give you Quick that? Quick Assist app. Quick Assist app. It says, best match. See more search results. Does it give you Quick Assist app on the top? No, I don't see no Quick Assist app. Where did you type it in? In this little search thingy. And where is it? In the bottom. At the extreme bottom, right? Yeah, I started typing and then like this menu came up. Okay. So if you try to type in quick assist, I'm sure it must be giving you a lot of applications. At the top, you can see quick assist app. It says best match. Let's give you that. See more search yes. results, and then under that it says search the web. Quick assist code. Best match. 
It says best match. Quick assist tap. Do you see that? It just says best match. See more search results. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't give you quick assist app, does it? I don't see an app thing. No, oh, I see apps at the top. Find results and apps. Mhm. Mm it has to be quick assist app. If you see that there. I, yeah, I don't see that though. That. I don't see that. I don't see no quick assist app. But you did type in quick assist, right? Yeah, I put I put quick space assist, or is, or do I get rid of the space? Yes, you were supposed to give the space in between. I and, did give it a space. Uh, you type it in. I just you put did? the word quick and you assist. Did. With the, I did put a space. I did put a space. Okay. So on the top, does it give you quick assist app? It doesn't. Like, give am you I supposed to do the thing that the other app? guy was telling me? Because because I was talking to another guy and then the phone call cut off. So is that like what he did? Because he had me downloading that. He had me trying to go on the internet and trying to download this any desk thing. Is that the same thing? No, it's not the same thing. It's a different thing altogether. This quick assist application is uh, for Microsoft. Do I have to like buy it? Or Coingos. It, no, you don't have to buy it. If it's free. Uh -huh. It has to be there into your computer. No, you don't have to buy anything. Forget about it that you have to buy anything and you have to share out any money about for anything. No. Okay. I mean, I could, try and, I could try and call like Best Buy or something to see if they mess something up or something on it. But, you know, if you go ahead and call up to Best Buy, they would definitely charge you for something. But uh, when you're talking to Microsoft, it's a free service that you're getting from our side. Oh, and okay. not just that, but if I find out that uh, I have to go ahead and look for something, and if I find out that something is going on which needs to be corrected, whatever services you're going to get, it's going to be absolutely free. You need not to pay a penny. Oh, so they'll charge me if I... Okay. Oh, I didn't know they were... I figured they wouldn't because oh. I, I, I bought it from them. No, we won't charge you a penny, I said. Okay. Do, do you see Quick Assist app? Do you really find it there? Quick Assist app? Quick Assist app. I just see this. It says here, see more search results, and then it says search the web. When you see the search the web, does it give you a Quick Assist app? Is it, I see Quick Assist code. I'm sure it does. Quick Assist app. Quick Assist code, Quick Assist web, Quick Assist, Quick Assist update, Quick Assist, Quick Assist. This has got like a bunch of stuff. And under that, and above all that, it says search the web. So click on the search the web, and I'm sure you can see Quick Assist app. Okay. It says use Quick Assist to help users. Quick Assist is a yes. Microsoft Store application that enables you. Right. Share device. Right. Authentication. The helper can authenticate when they sign in with the MSA account. Network considerations. What do I click on here? Quick Assist communicates over port 443 and connects to the remote assent servers. Say this. Does it give you any option to install it? Um, I don't see anything. I see a thing talking about Skype. 
Okay. Just go to that uh, the bottom again where you can type in something to search for it. If anything is written there, delete it and type in run. R U N run. So now we're back where she wanted me to go, anyways. R U N? Okay. R U N run. That's right. All right, I'll type that out. On the top, do you see run app? Best match run system. Open an application. Okay, exit out. Exit huh? out. Okay. Exit out. Do you see exit? <laughs> exit out. And just hold down the Windows key and let her I R just together. told her it says run application. Okay. And he said press which key? Yeah. The Windows key, the one which has got four squares, or like four flags. Yeah. You can find oh, the, key, the yeah. left bottom on your screen. Okay, you need to hold this key down and hit letter R. R is in Romeo. And it will give okay. you a run box at the left bottom on your screen. Oh, I see. Please type the name of a program. Okay, wonderful. You may release both the keys now and tell me, do you see anything is written in the open box or is it empty? Um, no, it said, oh, there's a website www.nedesk.com. Okay, you need to type in www.google.com. Uh, so how do I delete this? With the, with the help of the backspace button. You have a backspace? Uh, yeah. Button? And you keep going? Oh, yes. so I like just type with it that, regular. With the okay. help of the backspace. Yes. All right. So I need, you said Google? Yes. Now type in www.google.com. All right. And hit on OK. And press OK. All right. right. Okay, so when I got you hit that okay, down. you get a Google page on your screen. Uh, okay. Do you see Google search on your Google page? It says search the web. Oh my gosh, bro. Let's go no, again the with the five sub gifts. Google Holy search? crap. Thank Are you. Are you on to the Google page? Bro, I just told it. Yeah, that's why I say it says Google. Google search. Just okay. told you, lady. In the search, you need yeah, to type thank you, Les Camille. Holy crap. Download. Download? Mm-hmm. Okay. Download. Give a single space after download. Sure. And then type remote. Re remote. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give it space again after remote, then type utilities. Utilities. Right. I and then hit enter. <laughs> this lady. There's no way she scams anybody, dude. Like, she just goes on Rocky and on with these problems. Enter. Like, anytime she hits you a problem with someone, she's options. just like. But the first option would be Windows. Do you see that? Windows, remote utilities. Right. This fucking Please shit where? That. Okay. Now it will give you a page which would say remote utilities for Windows, right? Yeah. Oh, Frank, you're doing wonderful. Okay. okay. Now you need to scroll this page down. When you start scrolling it down, it will start giving you options. It says download viewer plus host. You scroll it down more, you'll see download viewer. And the third option would be download host. 
So I want you to look for download host and click on that. Okay. Now when you click on download host, it will give you a drop down which would have two options. And you need to click on the first one which is installable host. All right. Do you see that? We've been talking to this lady for almost okay, 30 wonderful. minutes now, and she still hasn't connected to Now, when you to click on Installable Host, you would be able to see that host is getting installed at the right upper corner on your screen. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay, let it install it. Once it is done, it will say Open File. So when you okay. see Open File, please click on it. Yeah. Oh no, sir. Do you now want when you to click on open file? Huh? Allow this app to make changes to your device. You yeah. need to click on yes. Okay. Now you see remote utilities, blue bars or green bars are going across on your screen and it says welcome to install shield wizard for remote utilities. Just click yeah. on next. Okay. After you click on next, it will give you an user, an user license agreement. So click on the first option, which is uh, I accept the license and terms agreement. All right. And then click on next. Click on next. Yes. Now just keep on clicking next, next next and then click on install now what i'm trying to do here i'm just trying to make sure that your device is safe and secured with microsoft secured server so if there are if if there are any unwanted people making a connection it's going to block them out from this computer and this computer unwanted is going to be absolutely secure what well, does that mean unwanted like... people yes Okay. It seems to me that there could be possibility mm. that somebody may be trying to make a connection onto your network, and that's when you got the warning alert just to secure you. So in order to make sure that your device is safe enough and nobody has the access, I need to make sure that your device is connected to the Microsoft Secured Server, and that's what we're trying to do. Okay. Now, what do you see on your screen? Says installation options. Yes, did you click on next, 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 and the at the end it says oh, install. So could please click on install. Oh, install. Please wait while install right. Shield Wizard installs remote utilities. That's what it says. Yes, it might take several minutes to install it. But once it is done, it will ask you to create a password. So I want you to write down the password. Should be 1122. Two. Keep it really very simple. 1122. Two. Okay. Is it asking you to create a password? Yeah. And enter password? Yeah. Please enter it. 1122. Two. And then confirm the same password. Okay. One one two two. And then click on OK. All right. And then click on finish. Finish. Okay. Okay, great. Now just check it at the right bottom on your screen. Do you see the date and time at the right bottom on your screen? Yeah. Wonderful. Now, besides the date and time, you would be able to see the speaker sign, the network sign, the battery sign, and an arrow which is pointing upward, and that's for show hidden icons. Do okay. you see that? Yeah. The arrow which is pointing up for show hidden icons. Please click on it. Okay. Now it must be showing you some icons over there. Just check the last icon. It should be like a blue color computer screen which has a lock on it. Yeah. 
that's for remote utility is closed. Do a right click on that. Okay. Now when you do a right click on it, it will give you five different options. Setting for host, about remote utilities, internet ID connection settings, restart and stop host. Do okay. you see all these five options? Yeah. Okay, please click on to the third option, which is internet ID connection settings. And this time, just do the left click. Okay. Now, it will give you a small box in the middle of page which says Internet ID, get new ID. Does it give you that? Um, okay. What's, this, what's, the, what's it supposed to show? It should show some numbers. Oh, okay. It's the set of numbers. Just give me those numbers. Okay secured with Microsoft secured server. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect your device to the Microsoft secured server. Once it is connected, it will give you a message at the right bottom on the screen, which would say that your Yo, computer Texas has with been the reset. Thank remote you, man. session. If you did not authorize the okay. session, visit remoteutilities.com info. So once you see that message there, that means your computer has been connected to the Microsoft Secure Server and is the indication that it's just you who has the access of this device. No other person would be able to look at it. So once you see that there, please let me know about it. Oh. Yeah, something just came up. Wonderful. Other than that little message. Great. So you did an amazing thing. Thing came up again, too. Oh, okay, now what needs class. to be done, I would want you, Okay. I just want you to go ahead and run a quick scan, which will give it information that what exactly is going on on your network and why it is giving you this kind of warning message. If there are just you who's been connected there, it's, like a bunch it's of... going to give you how many active connections are there. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. Okay. I want you to hold on the Windows oh. key and letter R together. I just clicked like a bunch of stuff I didn't mean to. How do I get out of all this? Just exit out. Okay. Oh, and there. please do not click on anything. I okay. can, uh, unless Sorry. I ask you to do that. You you might get into some other you know problem. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Okay, so. I'm, like I said, I just got this thing, man. I've been trying to figure it out, you know, this whole month. <laughs> and okay. that guy, he told me everything was set up. So now I'm thinking that they didn't, like, set something up right or something because now I'm having this no, issue. No, I want – it's, like, not, it's not set it up as yet. Uh, I just made sure that your device is safe with Microsoft Secured Server. But, as but do I need to, like, call them and try and get, like, a – like a solution to this, like, you know. I am guiding you. The you, I wanted to go ahead and run a scan, a quick scan, which will give the information that how many active connections are there onto your network. Is it just you, or do you have any other people making a connection? You're going to go ahead and get that information right there, and you would be able to go ahead and check that out by yourself. Okay. So I want, do you see the search at the bottom on your screen? Yeah. Just type in run into that. R U N run. Run. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see run? You see the run yeah. app or run open? Click on run. open. Open. Okay. Now, do you get the run box? Just came now, up. I want you to type in in that run box, C as in Charlie. Okay. M as in Mary. Okay. D as in David. Okay. So it should be CMD. Now, please click on OK, and it will give you a command screen. 
which would say I already have her Microsoft IP address. Version, the thing, Microsoft Corporation, or I, I, just, I opened the logs right in front of name. her and it showed her. IP so this address. computer is in your and name. It's going to have your name over there. Yeah, Starlight Spectrum with the 200 bits. Yeah, thank you. Don't forget to hydrate. Do you see that? Uh, yeah, like a black box came up. Microsoft right. Windows, it says in it. The command screen. I believe right. she already has the OG badge. It's a command oh, screen. Cool. It's just, let me get, just go ahead and ask you to write some things that it can give you the scan, which will give it information that how many active connections are there. So she doesn't have the, the host installed blinking. on her system, though, so I can't actually try and control it. Set. It won't even let me attempt -E to log in. S -T -A -T. And it's a one word. I need to do where? You and need to type in where the cursor is blinking. Just type N as in Nancy. Okay. E as in Echo. Okay. T as in Tom. All right. S as in Sam. S? T as in Tom. Mm -hmm. T. A as in Apple. A. Can anyone top. guess where you think she's from? Yo, me Celia with the 200 bits. Yo, thank you. What was the last one? I got A. T is in Tom. Okay. So it should be net stat, right? That's got, what you've written yeah. there? Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, so this net stat is going to give you the information about your internet status and how many active connections are there onto your network. The moment you hit run, just hit enter. The moment Anna? you hit enter, you'd see, just hit the enter key oh. on your keyboard. Like and a whole see thing the just went. Start running on your screen. Yeah, like a whole thing just went across the screen. What happened? Active connections. Oh, yes. Oh, now sure a bunch of other stuff just went. showing you active connections. Yes. The moment you hit enter, you can see the active connections. And the scan would start running. This scan will give you the information that how many active connections there are onto your network right now. Okay. And once the scan is completed, yeah, you would again see the username. The 21 months. So once Thank you, you see man. that username again at the end, just let me know because that's what when is TCP the scan mean? is going to be completed. What is that? It's like it says that the over TCP, and over again. It's okay. How many columns it's giving you? Could you please tell me? Is it giving um, you two columns or four columns? It's a, a lot. Um, one, two, two, four. Four, yeah. And what are the heading of these columns? The headings? Mm -hmm. So what is the heading of these columns? Proto, local, address, foreign, address, and state. Oh. You know, Frank, what does that there's mean? the thing. I tell you what. It means that, this, as I said, that this scan will give the information about all the active connections. I need to tell you here, see, had it been just giving you two columns, which is pro and local address, that would have been absolutely fine. Because uh, holy two crap, again, let's go with the freaking 10 subgifts. You've been connected on two networks, Bro, what the heck? Which is perfectly fine. Let's go is literally okay, carrying the, the local address <laughs> is your IP address. Holy shit, Based thank you. your IP address, the IP which has been given Bruh. to you by U.S. government when you got the internet connection. But I okay. want to tell you here that it seems You guys got a guess? I haven't IP seen any guesses. Compromised. Because you have the foreign address. So someone said New Delhi, but the I feel like she's in Kolkata. I need some guesses. Making a connection from anywhere. Right now we have no number number one but for Kolkata, number two for New Delhi, and number three for uh, enough to tell us 
that for luck now something is going on make like your guesses which is uh, suspicious and this is why it was giving you the warning alert so okay. these phone addresses you never know who they are they may be trying to make a connection onto your network to deal out the information that is not known but definitely we will go ahead and find that out now just check the fourth column which says state under that state column do you see established I see it's like a couple different ones, but I do see some that say established. How many established did do you see there? Could you please count them and tell me? Uh, one, two, six. All right, for anyone who guessed right. two, you're right. She's you're in New Delhi. Six unwanted people. <laughs> New Delhi, made India. Made a successful established connection on G Network. And not to forget that these people are still active right now. They're still using your internet. Now, let right me ask now? You here that is this the how do I, yeah, how do I oh, yes. evict those guys? Uh, well, I'll go ahead and do that for you. But first thing what you have to do, I want you to go ahead and make sure that all your other devices are turned off. Apart from this phone and the computer, I want you to go ahead and turn off all the devices which are connected with the internet because your network seems to be compromised. Compromised? And there are some, and there are six unwanted people are still active right now on Chi Network. So you just have to six? make sure that Gosh. the other devices... Okay. I mean, this is the only thing yeah. that I really got on the internet. I don't even got a TV yet. Should well, I go, yeah, like, unplug it or something? Like, a, a, should I unplug the router thing? The internet thing? Not, not the router thing. Don't worry, I will definitely go ahead and take off these unwanted people. But it's just that to let you know <sighs> that what is it going on on your network. And you know it by yourself that you have six, and one, six established connections. These established ones are the ones... Yeah. Maybe making a connection you and got no open to steal ports. out information maybe from your network. Now, what I need to do here, I would definitely go ahead and take off all these unwanted people who are making a connection onto your network. Well, one thing which is really important right now, I need to make sure and find out that what, pe what these people may be trying to do and uh, what exactly these people are doing on your network right now. Let's just go okay. ahead and run another scan. We've almost been talking to this lady for an hour, by the way. One. X. And okay. hold on the Windows key and letter R together. Get the run box. R. And R. Okay. And you have the run box there. Do you see CMD is written there? Yeah. Okay, now just... Click on OK. Let it be just there. Okay. Just hit on OK because we need to again go to the command screen to find Bro, out. She's going to be like, I'm, I'm essentially wasting like a right huge now. part of her day so or night I want of scamming. You to type in, see <laughs> and then I'm going to just show her location see after that. <laughs> it's going to be fucking hilarious. Type what? I didn't, you like cut eye out right there. T C. T C? Hello? Bro, my phone software just fucking... Oh my gosh. My shitty phone software! Oh, crap. Come on, dude. I literally pay for this shit. You guys have fucking... Bro, maybe that needs to be a thing in 2020. Maybe, maybe I need to cancel my shit with these guys and figure somebody else out. Because this is fucking stupid, bro. I just fucking restarted it. Let me see if she calls back. Oh, no. Still trying to connect. Bro. These fucking people, bro. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> trying to connect to servers, it says. She's still connected to my computer, so. Oh, 
Gosh damn it, bro. Yo, Cam Lobel with the eight months. Thank you, man. Connect to the fucking servers. Come on. Is this fucking... Oh, now it's connected. She's gone. Hello? Hey, Frank. This is Michelle again. Oh, we got disconnected. Yeah, I don't know what just happened. I was... I was like saying hello and stuff and nothing was coming through. Oh yes, even I was not also not able to hear you, but you know what? I was just checking out that you about your phone. Uh, are you calling me? Is this your cell number? Yeah. You know what? When I was checking it out, it was giving me the information. It seems to me that even your phone line seems to be intercepted. So intercepted. Maybe Yes, maybe you see, this is they were an able angle? to hear that conversation. Oh but like, gosh! Yeah, I'm calling you from the secured line because Wait, I got who was to able know to that hear? you. They could be unwanted people. This there could be some hacking incident is going on. There on are my phone? people making a connection, not only just to your phone but all to the devices. They're making a connection. Holy crap! There are six. Oh yes. So what? There, there was someone sitting there listening to a phone call. Oh yes, they can. They can easily go ahead and make a connection onto all the devices, whichever device has got the internet connection into it. Holy crap, so man! The phone is connected. Do I gotta like return this thing to Best Buy or something? Because this seems like it's messing with everything. Well, this is not because of the Best Buy. This is not because of the computer. This is because of the unsecured network. You may not have any kind of protection on your network. And whenever you are going online, if it is not the secured network, anybody and everybody could make a connection. And there are a lot of people out there who are looking out of these kind of open networks so that they can easily make a connection and steal out the information from there. And this, and oh just to gosh. secure our database, Microsoft has created a software in all the devices so that if anything happens like this, it gives you the warning alert, even the Microsoft number, so that you can get in touch with us and we can take care of it for you. Okay. So here yeah. I am. I would definitely go ahead and take care of it for you. Okay. So yeah, you need not to crazy, worry about it. man. Uh, how do I know? Is there like a way to like? Do I need to like do some of my phone service or something? Or how do I even do do that? Don't worry. You said I would listen definitely on my phone. go ahead and try to. Oh yes. You know what? It's is it surprising? Oh to yes. You? Is it the first time you heard it? That uh, anybody could do, you know, hack into the yeah. network and they can easily really. You know, I ain't never heard nothing like this. Little, oh, you know what? There are a lot of people out there who are not aware about the protection and all. And this is why whenever you take the Internet connection, make sure that your Internet connection is safe enough because you do a lot of stuff online, which is crucial. All your information, your personal information, your financial information, Every information is online, and if that network is not secured, that information could go to anybody, and they could go ahead and misuse that. This is the oh. reason we created. But I don't even like do research. nothing. Like I ain't been to like, you know, I ain't. 
it's on I've only had a computer here. You know, I ain't I ain't mess with nothing. I ain't, I literally just it was how they set it up for me and 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 I just plugged it in, you know, and it was just like it was at the store. So I don't even know you know, I don't even know what was going on with it, you know, or how I even under figured that but out. Nowadays No, but nowadays it is really it is recommended that one should have the secured network. But don't worry, I would definitely go ahead and get you the secured network. You don't have to worry about it because as you called us, now it is my almost responsibility to, like to make PCH sure that time. you are safe enough. Not only just for just today, wasting this the scammer's for, time. At least for five years. This might end up on the second to channel, to be honest. Buy any kind of security plan. Because I know you guys up on the second channel that watch that channel. Microsoft you guys really like these long calls like this. Free of cost, so you need not to pay. <laughs> uh, maybe I can put this up as an okay. ASMR video. <laughs> but there are certain things which I need to go ahead Calling and check scammers, out here. Calling scammers, ASMR. Because while I was working and checking out, it was giving me the information. There are six unwanted people are already in onto your network. They're is there a way to like, like figure that out? Like how like how do you figure out who that who's doing that? Like can I can I block you them know, or definitely. Definitely that I'm gonna do. But right now what is more important that we need to go ahead and find out that what these people if they have done any kind of damage onto your network or if they are trying to oh, do they can do we need stuff to find to out it? that what the, Yes, this is. Oh, uh, right. okay, tell me, what all activities do you do? Like, uh, do you do any kind of activity which you, which you find crucial? Maybe you do any kind of online banking or I online just, like shopping. Like I said, I've barely been getting used to this thing, but it sounds like it's already all messed up. It's not just about know? the computer. It is. Do you do it on your phone? Uh, well, I call them. I call them on my phone. Okay. But do you do anything, any kind of activity on your phone? Maybe you do online shopping and online banking and stuff. Um, Maybe online payments. The phone, I just got the phone, dude, too. Because I had to, because my old device, they let me keep my my phone number when I moved. Um but I had to, because basically when I was out there, I was using a, a different network. And then now I switched over, and and because I was switching over, they were giving me a phone with it. So I don't even know everything this phone could do. I'm just, no uh, like, I'm, I'm like, you know, this is kind of throwing a wrench in my whole thing, because I just moved, you know, trying to get used to the area. Shoot, I don't even know where all the stores are yet, you know? And now it sounds like everything's just blowing up right here. Like, this sounds like a horrible situation. Oh, you recently moved into this place and you're facing these kind of issues. You know, I Yeah, I moved all the way from Wisconsin, ahead, okay? you know? That's quite a few miles. Wisconsin. Because now I'm in Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's quite, a, quite a few oh, miles. Yeah. Why is she saying it like that? You know, what is more important right <laughs> now? Fuck? I need to make sure and find out Why she say it like that? they're trying to do onto your network right now. If they're okay. trying to go ahead and take out information. So we, I want you to go ahead and run a quick scan which will give you the, all that information. So could you please go ahead and go to that uh, okay. run Oh, that's the scan. thing you were telling me when uh, the phone went out. Okay. Yeah, I'm back. I'm, all, I'm. I need to go where? Where do I need to go on this? Uh, hold on the Windows key and letter R together, and get the know. box, which is uh, that is the box that you get. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm back on that box. Okay. Great. Now, where the cursor is blinking on that box, I want you to type in. C is in Charlie. D is in David. C okay. D. Oh, it just like went off. Dot dot. Dot dot. Right. 
Yo, do Rothers with the nine months. Thank you. Bro, 52 here, then less can be carrying on Twitch. You guys are crazy screen, today. CD dot dot? Yeah. I typed it right here in this run thing. Not in the run thing, but you have to. You can X out the. That's run what thing. she just told me to you do. You already have the command screen. Oh, sorry. Hold on. We're you doing. You have to yes. type it in the <laughs> command screen. C D. Oh. Dot, can I close this thing? Because this other. I I guess I'll oh, hold yes. this other thing up. Yes. Okay. Okay. C D. Oh, I guess. C D. What was it? I got C D. Dot dot. Dot dot. Period period. And hit enter. Okay. Now again type in C D dot dot. C D enter. Dot dot. Okay. Hit enter. And then type in tree. T R E E. Tree. T R E A. Okay. Tree. After you type in tree, <laughs> do you <laughs> see <laughs> that uh, scan is has I see a thing like screen? flying. You see that? There's a thing like flying on the that? screen. Okay, so it Holy is running, crap. right? Let yeah, I guess run. so. Let the scan run. This scan. This scan will give it information at the end if it finds out that something is going on. It might give you Microsoft security warnings on thing. And if you okay. see that, just let me know, okay? That How long does this go about. for? I don't think it's going to take a lot of time. But if you find at the end about Microsoft security warning, please let me know what is it say. Oh, it stopped. It stopped. Oh boy. Okay, great. Do you see anything which says Microsoft security warning? Yeah, Microsoft security warning. Oh my gosh. This is saying all what sorts of hoot knowledge on it. Unusual logging in the bank account. Unusual. It says unusual logging in the bank account over and over again. It says about that. I'm going to make it, her it say it. About, I'm not saying about that shit. your banking, maybe. That unusual login to the bank account. That's the one thing that you're getting, right? Yeah, that's what I see. It says unusual. Unu oh, it just turned. Oh, un unusual login the bank account. Unusual logins the bank account. Microsoft security warning. Okay. Not even gonna well, mention you know, it. See if it she keeps pushing there towards it. Some, they, they may be trying to go into the bank account. Do you do online banking and stuff? Maybe not onto this computer, uh, but do you do it on your phone? Not really. I usually just call them or I go there. You call them from your phone? Yeah, like uh, get them on the phone, and you know, because you can do it over there and be like, check, check the balance or. Or or such and such like that. That could be, the, that could be the reason because whenever you talk over the phone, your information is going compromised because you know that these people are making a connection and they, um, they maybe you never know since when they've been making yes. So they've been what, they, they've been listening they've been on my phone. To do. Yes, for like they a while. They've been oh listening on to your conversations. Yes. How long can there, worry, can I see like how long that's here. been happening? Because shoot, when I moved and everything, I I've been talking to my landlord and everything on the phone. You know. Oh, let's just go ahead and check it out. Could you just X out uh, the box and uh, hold on the windows and R? Funny together? how she won't actually mention it. She'll type it there, but she won't say it. Because what I suspect okay. that there may be, they have they have already gone ahead and stopped a lot of services. Because when I was working offline on T-Network, I could find out that. I want you to just hold on the Windows key and R together. Get the run box. Um, all right. Now, if 
anything is written there, just delete it and type in there M S Amazon M S like Microsoft M S C O N C is in Charlie O is in Oscar Okay N is in Nancy F is in Frank yeah. I is in Indigo G is in God so it says MS config. Is yeah. it correct? Yeah, that's what it says. Okay, great. Now please click on OK. Okay. And when you click on OK, it oh, gives you a I'm box in the middle of your page which says about system yeah, configuration. Yeah, something just came up. Underneath that, yes. Now do you see general boot services? I want you to click on services. Where's that? Where's that? Do you see system configuration? Underneath that, do you see general system configuration boot services? Oh, okay. I want yeah. you to click on services. Okay. Now, the moment you click on services, you would be able to see that there are a lot of services have been stopped which are through Microsoft, they have already gone ahead and stopped a lot of services. And there are few running. The loved services are stopped. So what they have done, they've already gone ahead and uh, stopped. This is the longest PCA the Yeah, I'm rolling services. with it. I'm trying to see how long I they keep her on the phone. To go into, to I already got her IP address and stuff. Usual logins. I'm just keeping and it on the phone now. One thing also, which I could go ahead and check it out when I was working offline on Two Network, it is giving I've been, me the I've been talking to this lady for like an hour and twenty there minutes are or some so. Accesses to the child pornography website. Wait, there's what? Is that you who go into child pornography website? What the hell? The access. It's not you. That means it's not you. That hell no. So they may be. Yes, so these people are going to be so disappointed when she realizes that she's been fucking so they are getting shit out of this. Illegal websites from your IP. I bet she's going to be shitting her and pants when I fucking time, actually show her her IP address. These kind of people try to make a connection onto somebody. Nah, this is a different lady. This IP is just how they are. This is just how these scammers Most are. Most of the time, they do some illegal I mean, stuff. Shoot. You can go back to my videos the all the way in 2016 when I was doing long calls like this. They've always been doing this shit. Onto this computer, they cannot look at it. This this computer has blocked them completely. This is just how they are. But not from your phone. Because I got to know about it later on that they may have I intercepted mean, your phone. I mean, go look up what the too. second but let worst, me ask uh, you here. or the second you most any other device crime in India is. These two devices, this phone and, and the computer, come tell me what you do find. you have any other device? which may be connected with the internet, maybe your smartphone, smart TV, your Xbox, uh, your printer. I don't even got a TV yet. And my, a lot of stuff, when I moved, I had to leave it behind. Um, I actually had, I had like a, a, right. a garage sale, and I sold a bunch of it before I moved. This computer. Okay. And, and the computer, it mm -hmm. came with like a monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, it all came with it because I didn't even have none of that. I had to get this, and I had to get a. I also had to get a desk from a, the the store next door. Because I didn't. I, I literally in the oh, in nice. this office room. I I literally got a desk, the computer, monitor, mm -hmm. and then the the modem. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't got Is much in here. Is it for the work purposes? You have to move into this place. Is it for the work? For the work. That oh the whole yes. reason I had to move. Uh, no no. It, it it was yes. a it was it was a complicated situation uh, uh, basically like because because just how because uh, because down there in Wisconsin there's a lot of snow um, and oh, actually okay. on my my other house half of the house the snow was piling on it and the roof caved in uh, the roof caved in oh. on that part of the house so I had to I had to use my my homeowner's insurance. And they basically said mm -hmm. that because how old the house was, it's just done. It's done. And, uh, uh, so they paid me the homeowner's insurance. And I was like, well, I, you know, I wanted to go down by the by the coast, kind of, you know, down by New York. But I didn't really, 
you know, because you heard about New York. They, there's too many people there and stuff. So I just, yeah. I chose here because it's kind of like, I can still go there if I want, but it's like an hour away. So I don't have to, uh, you know. Okay. So this place you down. find, it, it's okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, it, it so wasn't I, nothing I was related to, like, work my work or nothing at all, essentially. Okay. You still work, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're working somewhere? Yeah, but th- th- that <laughs> whole situation, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I hope my work, my coworkers weren't conspiring against me or something. But, I, yeah, as far as I know, it ain't nothing, nothing to do with my work. All right. So what I'll do here, as I said, that I would definitely go ahead and take off all these unwanted people from your network. I am going to, once I'm able to go ahead and take these people off from there, then I would set up the surveillance to find out that who these people are since when they've been making a connection. Uh, uh, let me ask you, Frank, it just reminds me here to ask you, have you ever shared your ideal passwords with anybody, maybe like your friends or family members? Anybody knows about it? Shared it? Yes. Have you shared your ID, your password? Anybody this, knows about it? I don't even think I don't even think I got a password on this computer. No, not She's about got a fucking this water computer. bottle next to her that she just took because a drink of. It said about uh, that your the unusual login into the bank account. Have you ever shared any of your banking information with anybody? No. Other than other yeah. than my work, you know, you I know. had to give them my stuff because that's what I was worried about. Because I was talking to my new job and everything, and th- they need some of that information to send the paychecks. Oh yeah, that's what I'm worried that's about on the phone. Because you, you said that they're they're going and doing stuff on the phone. Yeah, but you know, with the work people, you have to share that information. Otherwise, how would you get your money from them? So that that is understood. But ap- apart from any, well, any yeah, but I'm just worried because like you that, said the, like, uh, like that's why I'm worried. How long these people been on my phone? Because I don't know if yeah. they heard none of that. You see I what I mean? I definitely go ahead and check that out. Oh yeah, I I got your point. What you're saying that they may be. Listening to all the conversation, maybe they have all that information with them for a long time, and you're not even aware about it. We'll definitely go ahead and check that out. And first of Can't all, I have to say do that. one thing here that it's I just, have to inform the Federal Bureau. You know, that they, it's, not it's how they are. They can lie straight to people's faces. And they, these, don't, uh, they don't care. You know, illegal websites, which are child pornography websites. And not only oh does gosh. that, I would even go ahead and inform your financial institution that uh, while checking it out, we could find there are six unwanted people making a connection, and it says about the unusual logins. So if any kind of activities are happening at their end, they should stop it right there and then speak to you directly because just you guys knows about it, what's going on at the bank's end. So, but the first, imp- uh, first I have to do, I have to inform the Federal Bureau, first of all, so that they would not involve? call you or come to you. Oh, uh, well, the Federal Bureau takes care of all these, the Federal Bureau I'm talking about. They take care of these, if anybody is going on to any illegal websites, they make a connection with them. They go to their places and speak to them about it. So I'll have to inform them. So someone's going to come and talk to, to me? No, forget it. Let me just do that needful for you. Let me just inform oh. that once they would have the information from Microsoft side, I would give them the proof that it's not you. So just give me okay. some time. I'm gonna be right. I'm gonna be right here with you. Do not hang sure. up with me. I'm gonna be right back again with you. So stay connected. Okay. okay. Give me some time. All right. Thank I'll be. Yeah. Friends. I'll be here. Thank you. Yeah. This is this is what they this is what they do. I mean, go to go to my videos. Um, 2016, go to my first video, dude sitting here in the terminal, I mean, in the command prompt, <laughs> reading, doing this fake scans, reading this crap off, how, oh, you're, all this, this, that, and blah, blah, blah is happening, and, you know, whoop-dee-whoop-whoop, whatever, 
This is what they do. This is how, this is just, this is literally how they are. I've heard, I've heard this exact script said to me probably over 200, 300, 400 times. Like over all my, over all my time of scam baiting, probably over like a thousand times I've heard this shit. Like this exact script. And then they tell me all oh, the authorities and all this. This is literally just how they are. And the crazy thing is, go look up, go look up the 2021 um, second most common crime in, in, in India. Go look it up. And guess, guess what the top one is? Guess what the top one? Theft. <laughs> What's literally happened right now? This, this, this is literally, this is literally adding to that statistic. The, mo the most common thing, theft. And here we are. I feel like I'm still talking in my, like, fake voice that I was doing. I do, I feel like I do that sometimes. Where, like, after I'm done talking to a scammer for, like, a long time, I have to, like, get, get, get out of it, you know? Thank you for staying online. I really appreciate your patience. Frank, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Okay, Frank. So I've already informed. Oh yes, I can. I can. Oh God. Uh, well, I've already informed the Federal Bureau that uh, it's not the it's not you. It's not your IP who's doing this mischief. It's somebody's you know playing around onto your. IP and they are using your IP for these illegal stuff. So I've already informed the Federal Bureau. So you would not get any any kind of uh, questionable calls or they would not visit your place. If they need to ask anything about it, they would get in touch with me about that. So I'll give all the proofs to them that it's not you who may be doing it. It is, could be people who are making a connection onto your network they could be hackers who are trying to do that, okay? So, so is I there a way to, like, them. figure out who who these people are? Because if they're going and doing all and I, trying to take all my stuff, you know. I need to go ahead and set up a surveillance on your network, and that surveillance is going to be there for next 36 hours, not just for 24 hours, do? but for the 36 hours. It's going to give us the information that if any other person is making a connection onto your network, if these people are still making a connection even at net night time, and since when they are making a connection, is this the same people who have been keep on making a connection? We need to go ahead and get all that information. Once we gather all that information together, we will go ahead and find out that if there is one particular person or uh, there are a set of numbers who have been making a connection onto your network every time. So that means and they're still going to, like, after this call, they're still going to have, like, access to my stuff? You know what? You need to avoid using your phone or your computer to open anything which is personal to you. Okay? Do not talk over the phone, which is... Which has Someone commented under one of your like comments person, that she, the scammer, was just person. trying to get money and provide Don't for her kid. Don't use your phone because it's not safe right yeah, now. Yeah, it's like you people like to say stuff, that. And it's like, all right, if somebody comes and steals everything from your mom, your information. here's what you're going to do. Okay? Since it's an Indian scammer While that stole from your mom, be like, I would definitely too bad. Because they're just trying to provide for their kid. Like, you really think the person commenting that is going to say that? No. But they're full of shit, the people that, that, that try and support these scammers. For me to make sure because if that, that happened to them, and their mom, their dad, somebody program. close to them if got scanned by somebody in India, security, they're going to be like, what the sure fuck, the man? They're not going to be like, they're not going to go up to them and be like, at least oh, 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 it's okay. And if they do do that, that family member should be like, fuck you, I'm never talking to you again in my life. The kind of security Because you don't have my best interest, you know? Nobody would be able to go ahead and It's crazy how these... Okay. So many people online, so they try to do But I think most of them, they're I'm just gonna, trolls. I'm gonna work or they're just it, I'm going to make sure that you get the best work from my side. Okay. Okay. So how do I, All right. if I can't use my phone and stuff, how do I keep up with this? How do I, like, track the no, progress and such? you can use such? your phone. 
you mm. can use your phone, but don't talk over the phone about your personal things. Do not okay. share anything which has which has uh, your financial information or your personal information. Well, don't what I, use that. Because I already Until did tomorrow, that. Does, how do I know? Is there is there a way to know when all this started? Because, I, like I said, when I first got here, worry. I mean, the first day I was giving my information to the landlord because some of my information exactly. wasn't in my form and he had to call me, you know. So I'm worried about that. Okay. See, Frank, if you are in, in touch with us, we'll definitely go ahead and make all the possible ways that they would not be able to do anything. If anything also has happened, if anything has happened already, we'll try that it's not going to hamper you. Okay? Okay. Then because so this thing going to affect there, like my job I or nothing. Ahead, don't worry. No, it's not going to it's not going to be that, okay? I would definitely inform every aspect. I will make sure that you get best of the services from our side. So Forget about that. You, you something is going to, you know, bother yeah. you later on. I'm going okay. to make sure about yeah, that. Yeah, because if I could get See, all this, like, make sure that has... it's all good and proper. That's yeah. that's what I that's what I I, I want to do because I don't want none of this coming back around and and, and nipping me in the butt. You know. I'm sure. I'm sure, and I will definitely make sure. If as I said, that even though if anything has happened, I would inform every um, bit of it and uh, even your back what huh so, hello and how does that how does how does that um like how does that process work? How do you like how how do, how does that process work? I'm going to go ahead and speak to you tomorrow in the morning. What is what is the best time to speak to you in the morning? If I give you a call tomorrow, what is going to be the best time to speak to you? I know, guys. It it went to my monitor. The best. Sorry. I, every like you all your stuff. I don't know what just happened. The phone just like cut out. When can I call you in the morning? If I give you a call tomorrow in the morning, what is the best time to call you up? Oh, we had, we're not able to like fix this up today, okay. or I was hoping we today, could try and get because I'm, I'm worried about off. these people seeing all my my stuff on a computer and such. That's what I'm worried about. No, your computer is absolutely safe right now. Okay, if you do anything on your computer, nobody has the access. It's just you who could work onto this computer. Nobody would be able to look at what you're doing. Okay. Wow, because I, I, I just want to make sure to because 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 you said like all this oh, yeah. crazy stuff. You know, I don't like. You know, this sounds really not. This this really doesn't sound good. You know, this sounds really bad. I I told you that your computer is getting connected with the Microsoft secured server. Now this computer is absolutely safe. Okay, not your phone. I'll definitely try to make sure that your phone is also safe. But so I can't use now, the phone at all. Phone is not. You can use the phone, but don't mention anything which relates, uh, which has your personal information or your financial information. Don't do that. Okay. It is going to be compromised. And how long so is you, that you in If you use your computer, affair. give me some time. Let me just do the needful first. Let me just go ahead and take off all these unwanted people. Then I'm going to make sure that all these services which they have stopped, it should be running for you. And then I'll I'll be setting up the surveillance, and then I'll go ahead and set up the tracker also, so that we can track them down. So all these things 
you know yeah. it's not something which is uh, which is going to take 2 minutes it's going to take long time for me to do work upon to every how long would that take it's all our technical things it will take time it's i will just start working on to it it will take hours she's been connected that. to my computer this is why i'm this saying time, guys. that i'll thing give in the you bo- a call bottom. tomorrow well you can't really see it but there's a thing tomorrow, in the bottom right i might be able to go ahead and give out some information because if i would be setting up the surveillance i would be able to go ahead and get some information about these people which i would be able to go ahead and share that with you so until and unless i give you a call tomorrow do not go ahead and do anything which is uh I mean, for like you, what? for your computer, like what's off limits? I am not onto the phone. Do not do anything on your phone, all right? But for your computer, okay. you are good to go. You can use your computer. Do whatever you want to do. Go to any of the websites. I feel like use she's your computer not going to call me back because tomorrow. tomorrow, if I call you and if you find that something is not working, you need to give me that information that you were working on your computer and you were not able to do that, so that I can go ahead and fix that up for you. Okay, I do. Okay? I do have a question though. Um. Sure. Yeah. So with this whole thing, because we've been on the phone for like what two hours or something, trying to figure this out, right? Um, uh, mm-hmm. so on this, cause I was trying to figure out on this page, can you see this page? Oh, how do I go back? Do you see this page? I am not able to see anything on your screen. You can't? Well, I'm just As wondering why just you. this page here, it says New Delhi, India. And why you're trying to tell me there's CSAM on my computer when you've just been trying to scam me for the past two hours. And you just got all your time wasted, lady. Do you realize that, you piece of crap scammer? <laughs> she just hung up on me. <laughs> oh, she's probably so fucking annoyed. Oh, she's still connected. Hello, scammer. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not waiting for her to do her little call back. <laughs> She's still connected. So you guys can't really see it, but under this, under the follow and stuff, there's a little white box here. That means she's connected to my computer. Let me see if I can, because she did call me back at one point. I wonder if she just shut off her whole computer. She hung up pretty quick. Let me see if, if, if she called me with like a proper number as a call back and I could call her. <laughs> Yo, Starlight Spectrum with the 100 bits. Cheers for wasting this Renty's time. Yo, thank you. Yeah, we were, we were talking. Let me go, if my... Uh, I gotta wait for my call history to load here, but I can see like the total time, I think. So that one I was talking to her for 35 minutes. And then outgoing or wait. So 35 minutes there. And 45 minutes there. So over over like like what an hour and 20 minutes or something, we were talking to this lady, wasting her damn time. Let me call her back. Cause she actually called me on a different number. And she's still connected, by the way. Or or she shut off her computer and it hasn't timed out yet. One of the two. Hi, thanks for calling Microsoft. But it's wait. To help us to improve the quality of our products, services, and training, this call may be recorded or monitored, and information collected on this call may be transferred to other countries. To help me best assist you, I need to know if you are calling as a home user or a business user. She called me with an actual... Let's report her. Home user. 
Looking forward to helping you. Please tell me what I can help you with today. Um. Sorry, you are having a hard support? time. Support? Let's Report? keep trying. Please tell me again what I can help you with today. Report. For example, are you calling for technical support or need help with a specific product? Technical support. Please tell me what product you are calling about. Windows. Okay, please visit help.microsoft. All right, we're just going to hang up. Please visit help.microsoft. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the real Microsoft number. So she spoofed. Uh, when she called me back, she spoofed an actual legit number that belongs to Microsoft. So I'm not able to actually call her back directly. Let me see if their main scammer number still works. And if I'm able to call them on that one. She's, it still says she's connected, by the way, but I don't, I don't believe she is. I think she might've went and shut off her computer because these guys get scared really fucking easily. Um, and it's, but you can see in the bottom right there, like you see this, this, like under the, right above this, this white box here, that it's saying that a remote computer is connected. Let's see if their main number is still up. It's funny, she had nothing to say though. What a loser. Thank you for calling. Please press one, six, to speak with law. My bad, y'all. <laughs> Jeez, my bad. We've been uh, we've been going for over four hours, by the way. Nice. Maybe it's not up. It's ringing quite a bit. We've been calling these guys for three hours now, wasting these guys' time. Uh, and, and by the way, this has been on TSU the entire time. This was posted by somebody on TSU. Uh, if you want to call, try and call them. It's pop-up scammers on TSU. Yeah. Four hours holy? Yeah, four hours. Drink water? That's what I was just trying to do. I failed. Talk about sense of humanity. Yeah. It's just going to ring. Let me hang up and switch to a number I haven't called them on before and maybe see that. Making up for lost time. Yeah, I don't even think you guys realized how long I've been going today. I mean, on on the Thank Twitch side, calling. it does say Please we've only been four, live three, for three hours because... Executive. The whole freaking error that happened earlier. But over on Kick, it still has the proper time live. Uh, and yeah, four hours and 12 minutes. What the heck was that? And we've been using the new VM already. And it already worked. We, we, tricked, we tricked this lady. What the heck was that? We tricked this lady. Did she just try to move the mouse? We tricked this lady into wasting her time. Yeah. This is not going through. Just rings. Oh, man. 
Well, let's 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 go. Uh, let's do our first reset to snapshot on this VM, since it looks like she's just totally gone. So let me go here. Um, I'm gonna do snapshot one, and we're gonna do Filoni. Baloney screen. Four hour movie unbearable. Four hours with the SR flies by. Yeah. I'm glad I'm glad y'all been enjoying the stream. We've had a solid like 160 peeps throughout this entire stream, man. So I appreciate everyone for coming out and stuff. Uh I, I don't know what's been going on with the follow count. We hit we hit the 60, we went to like 61, and then two people unfollowed. Come on, man. Who's who's clicking on the stream and just being like, oh, fuck this guy. Like, what's going on, man? Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> what's up with that? All right, let me, um, I'm going to do a BRB, and then we'll see what, what we're going to do next year, y'all. We'll see what we're going to do next year, all right? So I will, uh, what is this? Oh, all right. So I will be right back. NASA sponsored, not affiliated, not sponsored BRB screen. 